foreign power. How you can violate the nature's law? It is not possible. Nature's law is so strict, a little deviation will put you into suffering. This is going on. That is Yamaha. And if you violate more and more and more, then you suffer more and more and more. This is the law. You cannot escape it. That is the general law everywhere, all over the world, life for life. So similarly, in the God's law, there is no such thing that uh, if you kill a human being, you will be killed, and if you kill an animal, you will not be killed. That is imperfect law, man-made law. You are maintaining so many slaughter arrows, and when it will be mature, there will be war, the wholesale murder. Finish. One atom bomb. Finish. You will have to suffer. Don't think that innocent animals, they cannot protest. Let us kill and eat. No, you will be also punished. What for accumulation of your sinful activity? Why do you think there is no punishment and there is no God? This is utopia. Don't think like that. Utopia. There is God, there is government, there are his agents, there are witnesses, and otherwise why there are different varieties of life? Why? Eight million four hundred thousand species of life. Everyone is a living being. The trees are living being, the fishes are living being. And the ants are a living being, the mosquitoes are a living being, and the human being also a living being, the demigods also a living being, the cats, dogs, everyone is a living being. So we should be very careful. This is this human form of life is a chance to make your choice whether you are will go on being punished like this or whether you shall go back to home, back to God. Here is the chance. You can imagine that there is no God, there is no Jamaraj, there is no punishment, let me do. That is your fancy, but it is not the fact. Fact is, if we commit some sin, we must suffer from it, and there is nobody in the world who can check it. Thank you very much.